in the 400 tweet again. Once again, we're cracking on. We're trying to get as much done in a year as we can to get it back to some sort of normality um, ready for obviously all the prep work for the paint and stuff like that. So our door's all boxed up now and we've started filling a bit to that. And to be honest, it looks brilliant already. Just having it all boxed in, it just makes this room feel so much bigger. Um, it's just fantastic. So now what we want to do is crack on with the recesses for the windows. So obviously when we got the windows in, we had to take all of this panelling off in here and obviously get the old windows out and the new windows in. And so it also gives us the opportunity to get the panels sorted. So making them structurally okay and put on a vapour barrier on the back as well. So all of the panels that we've took off that face and exterior wall, we've either insulated it with the 40mm polystyrene insulation or we put a vapour barrier, which is the, the foil line stuff on the back of the panelling, just so it doesn't damage any of the panelling in the future. So that's all good. So while we've got them off, we can do all of that and we've been able to inspect the beams, make sure they're all okay and inspect the walls really and run a couple of the electrics at the same time. So now all that's done, we need to get the panels sorted, get them into place and go from there. So we've got the one in the salon to do and we've got the one in the hallway to do as well. Um, we'll probably start with the one in the hallway because they're in full length panels and we still need to do a little bit of work on the panels in the salon. So yeah, and then before we get those in, I need to add one more wire. So I'm wanting a plug just in the bottom corner here that I've just decided to add in um, just so we can have the two candelabras at the side of the fireplace and then there'll be a plug into there and just so it gives a, a nice ambient light in here as well. Um, I think they look quite nice when you're walking into the room and you've got two beautiful big candelabras on the fireplace here. I think it'd be nice. So I need to run that wire first before we get those panels <clears throat> on. And then once that's in place, we'll be able to crack on. So I'll get Graham now. It's me and Graham working again today. Hopefully we can get this first one in and then go from there.
So that's the first one in. And to be honest, it looks absolutely amazing. It looks better than what it was when we came. Obviously it's all fitted in properly now. There's a couple of adjustments that we had to do um, because previously some of the panels, I think the, the lining of the window and the lining of the next panel was slightly out. So they put a, a, like a block in, a chamfered block. Let's see if I can show you now. Uh, you can see it here. So if they put that in, but instead of putting it on the side near the window so you wouldn't notice it as much, <clears throat> they put it on the side with the panelling. So the bottom was, I'd probably say about 50 mil, and then it was nothing on the top, so it was going up at a slight angle. So we've rectified that, we've put it on the other side now so you don't notice it as much, and it's lined up brilliantly, even the bottom part, so where the radiator, like the panel for in front of the radiator, that wasn't lining up properly. So we've got that lined up now and all the skirting boards on, just ready to be filled and sanded. But like I said, to, to get the new windows in now and the panel back in, it just looks absolutely amazing. I'm just so pleased with it. So now this one's all sorted, we will start on the Salon one. Hopefully that one isn't too difficult and yeah we'll have the rooms back together we'll be full rooms again we won't be looking at the brick walls it will all be the beautiful panelling again so yeah so we need to crack on with that window but mum needs to do a bit of work on it first so the bottom panels need stripping of all the paint on them because i've just had to make them up and um, the ones that were there previously had completely rotted away we didn't have any of the same size, so we had to do the same thing where we were cutting the panels down and joining them together to create some new ones. So while Mum's doing that, I think me and Graham are going to come into the bedroom and look at this doorway that comes into the bathroom. Now, the door opens into the bedroom and against this wall on the back here, but we're planning on putting a dressing table there in the bedroom. So we need to change the hinges over and the lock over so it's on the inside of the bathroom. So when you open up, it opens into the bathroom and against the window. And um, just so you get the, the full view of the bathroom when you come in and it's not interrupting anything because the only thing that we're going to plan having there is the electric radiator. So yeah, so we'll have to crack on with that except we need to take the trim off and then take the hinges off and then go from there really and have a little look so we'll crack on now see you in a bit
job that has been. I know it looks so simple as putting a curtain rail up, but oh my God, like it has just been a nightmare. One, because the curtains are going to be so big and so heavy, so we need to make sure it's structurally safe. And two, trying to get this fitting in. Obviously these fittings we got from a, a massive house in Allenson, which is our big closest town. Um, someone was there cleaning it all out and we went over and managed to get a couple of bits. We managed to get these brilliant curtain rails, which are a set of like two rails on one frame. So we can have a set of oil and a set of curtains for the bedroom, which is brilliant. But they're also pull cord as well. So we can we pull the cords to draw them um, and to open them. So yeah, it's absolutely amazing. Um, Graham's been busy getting the door sorted as well. So now with the door opens the right way for the bathroom. So it opens against the window and then closes over. So we're not losing like any of the view or the space for the bathroom now, which is great. And it's not interfering with the bedroom either. But I'll go up and show you now these curtain rails because what a job they've been. So we've only got the one rail at the minute, but there's the holders there for the second rail, which will be the voile. But like I said, you've got the pull cards. So we can have them open and close, and then the opposite side will have the voile pull cords on. And it's brilliant. Obviously they're not decorative on out, but they're gonna be hidden with all the fabric off the drapes anyway. So obviously you don't need to see them on out, um, but they're gonna work perfectly. But for the um, salon and the hallway, we've got some more that we're doing as well. Now, you might have seen us when we were putting these in, they have massive rods that go right the way into the stonework and it was, I think it was 12 centimetres long. Um, that's how long the rod is that we had to hammer into the stonework. Luckily, obviously, we put some battens of wood in, so we drilled a pilot hole through that and then went into the stonework to get it in as well. But we've got some more curtain rails, so we're going to be using more decorative ones for the bedroom and the hallway because they won't really get drawn that much, so they're more just for show. Um, so we need to get these ones up. Again, they're going to be pull cord ones. So we've got different ones, different Ostley ends on them, and they've got all of the string on. So we can do the pull cord. But the holders for these ones are that big, they're absolutely massive. So we have to hammer like half of this actually into the stonework and that's how they're supported. So, and then the actual curtain rail slots in the top of this. So I think that'll be tomorrow's job because we are absolutely knackered um, just getting that one curtain rail up. But to be honest, to be at the stage of getting a curtain rail up, I know the room's nowhere near ready, but even just to get to that stage of planning a curtain rail um, and getting it up in place is just amazing. So the reason we had to do it as well now was because we had to put the blocks behind, which we did plan in, but we didn't know exactly where the curtain rails were going to go. So we thought it'd be easy just putting a full board on and then we can cut out the sections that we need to and put the battens behind. So yeah, so now they're up, obviously we can measure up as well, ready for the fabric and how big the drapes are going to be. And while I was here, he'll be able to hopefully get the curtains sorted. So yeah, it's that exciting. Like this is where it's going to start moving like quite fast now. And it's going to change quite a lot um, with the decoration side and stuff like that. So it is really exciting. Um, once it's taped and jointed and we get the first layer of paint on, then it's just going to steam ahead and Already now I can see how the room's going to look, just getting these little little glimpses in. I've just showing you the handles. Yeah, the handles are absolutely beautiful. Obviously the Louis the 15th style. So they're going to go perfect in this room as well. And I think it's just having these little bits that people are going to sort of expect. And it's going to be just nice to, to have these little bits of 
luxury in here and to try and make it as much as it was back in its glory days really just having these these elegant and like quality touches really so yeah it's been an absolute nightmare just to get a curtain rail up and change the hinges over on the door but we've got them sorted now which isn't too bad so the next thing that we need to crack on with is getting the other curtain rails up and then at least we've got the height that we know we're working for for the curtains and we can get the material cut but for now i am knackered graham is already knackered bless him i think i've killed him today so we're gonna go and get a nice cold drink and call it a day and see you in a bit It's been another great week. It has. It's fantastic to get so much sorted here. Yeah, see, see some of the soft versions going and just like, just for curtains. Yeah, it is. Um, these won't be the curtains that we're going to actually be keeping up. We just purely put them up to get an idea of the length. So while obviously you can look at making some mm -hmm. and to work out the mechanism for the curtains as well, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. yeah. Um, so we will be taking them back down, don't worry. Yeah, it was purely to get in because the need, you'll have seen the pins that they've put into the wall. Um, if I'd have plastered in here and they'd have gone and wrecked my plaster and there'd have been a murder. So <laughs> yeah. they've thought about it and they've been good. Yeah. We'll Don't come more and so they'll be coming down while I finish this plastering off in this room. Yeah. Uh, Graham has been busy, got the door sorted for the bathroom. <laughs> that, that, was door that was no mean feat either. No. <laughs> Bless him. And we finally have all of the hallway panelled yeah. as well now. Just ready to fill now, isn't it? Yeah, 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 we're just looking brilliant. So all of the windows boxed in, the doors boxed in. Yeah, it's looking good. And um, this week, next two weeks is just going to be crazy. crazy. Isn't it? <laughs> it is. We've got a busy, busy two weeks ahead of us. Yep. Um, we've got a couple of things planned in to, to welcome all of you, really. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So on the Wednesday, we've got a fundraising quiz. And again, this will be any, any money we make will be going towards Jonathan School. So we're going to do that here at the Chateau. We did a, a similar one last year and it was brilliant. It was good. It was yeah. Fun. Lots yeah, of fun. Yeah. So if you do want to come, like it's just a fun quiz that will be held in the shadow um, Wednesday the 19th of July. Yeah. yeah. Let us know if you're going to be coming um, just so we can get an idea of numbers. That will just be a fun we'll have mm -hmm. obviously tea cakes and stuff like yeah. that. Mm -hmm. I think we're just doing a few burgers and chips for sale yeah. and stuff like that. You know, Wherever we can to raise money. Yeah, we'll for do. that. And then on the Saturday the 28th is it? 22nd. 22nd. Oh. 22nd we've got a Patreon open day. So people can come from Patreon and see have a look around and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And on the Sunday the 23rd, we've got the fundraiser for Jonathan's School, which we're going to have here. We're just going to have barbecue, tombola, raffle mm -hmm. games. Yeah, games. Just something to, to, to raise a few more pounds for their school, just because they've been so amazing. They have, bless them. They've <clears throat> helped out, obviously, massively with Jonathan. Yeah, mm -hmm. he loves fantastic. it. Yeah. And we've done so well last year with it, and everyone was asking us to do another one. Mm -hmm. So I think this year they actually desperately do need funding because they're needing a new roof, are they? Yeah, there's part of the kindergarten. I've got to meet with the head teacher tomorrow, so we're going to go down and have a look. Um, it's part of the kindergarten so they can get more kids into the school from a younger age. Yeah. Um, they need help with the roof and, and just make it a better place for the kids and, and so they can take more in and, yeah. and do more with them. They've been so good with us. Yeah, because mm -hmm. they don't actually get any... They don't get any external funding, it's mainly because it's a Catholic school, they're a small amount from that and then all the money that they raise is from mm -hmm. like the local community. Yeah, they yeah. do lots of things like mm -hmm. pizza days and uh, well they do a lot of different events them, yeah. but only make small amounts of money you yeah. know so it is good, I mean it's a lovely school, it's wonderful, Jonathan loves it yeah. and it's a lovely community to be honest and we just want to give something back to them. Yeah. For yeah. welcoming us, really. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. Mm. So yeah, so the quiz and the Sunday opening day will be purely just to help raise money. Yeah. And I think, to be honest, we have like a couple of ideas of trying to do um, some items that we could raffle off. Yeah. So we could do a... Yeah, we can do like an online raffle. Yeah, Yeah, like mm -hmm. a live auction raffle. Auction. Mm -hmm. um, on We could do like a YouTube live. 
I think we're going to try and get some picture frames so we could put some of the original floor tiles in. Yeah, yep. we can auction them off. Yeah. So the wallpaper, uh, there's bits yeah. and pieces of everything. So yeah. get your auction things ready yeah. <laughs> and join in. It's going to be lots of fun. Yeah, it'd be brilliant just so we can raise as much money as possible for the school so they can try and get a new roof. It'd yeah. be fantastic. Yeah, mm -hmm. thank you. Be a massive help to them. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Think yeah. The auction will be brilliant. It's such a good laugh. We might get carried away. <laughs> <laughs> so we hope you've enjoyed today's video. It's it's been fun for us, and it's just so amazing having everyone here. Yeah. If, if you have, hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and make sure you got the bell clicked for notifications. Lots of you ask questions on YouTube and we often answer them on Facebook. So make sure you subscribe to our Facebook and Instagram pages as well, because mm -hmm. you'll, you'll see a lot of the answers that you're asking in the comments yeah. and we will see you on Friday. Yeah. Yeah. We'll be posting um, the details of the opening days and stuff like that on our Facebook and Instagram pages mm -hmm. well, anyway. So click on so, Facebook. Yeah, join us on them pages because you'll be able to get all of the information on the, if we do the online auction mm -hmm. and the opening days. Yeah. And we'll see you Friday. Bye. Bye. If you'd like to be part of our journey and help restore the chateau, then please join us on Patreon, where you'll be part of our journey, receive a piece of the history, and get exclusive videos.